Hello, my name is Andrew Thiessen. I'm a registered piano technician and I'm here at a church in Southwest Michigan. I have the opportunity to work on this Steinway Grand Piano. It was built in 1910 and it was rebuilt in 1999, so roughly 20 years ago. It is six feet two inches in length and an interesting tidbit about this piano is that it was signed in, uh, on August 25th, 1910 by Rudolf H. Wurlitzer, who was the son of the uh, founder of the uh, Wurlitzer Piano Company. And he also served as the president of the company from 1927 to 1932. So that signature was preserved during the uh, uh, rebuilding process. It was painted around. This action has been replaced, was replaced in 1999 uh, with the Renner action, uh, which brings me to my project. I will be replacing the hammers and shanks. Uh, and I'm using the Renner premium blue points with Weikert special felt. It's a very, very nice hammer. So basically, uh, this is a demonstration video. I will be showing some of the procedures of the installation, uh, as well as providing before and after sound samples. So I hope you enjoy the video, and thanks for watching. Here we are at the beginning of the hammer installation process. I will start by removing every other hammer and shank assembly and replacing with the new parts. Here we go. The next step is traveling and burning the shanks, which means basically I'm trying to match the new parts to the old parts. And you can see how the new hammers are all tilted a little bit to the uh, travel side relative to the old hammers. I'm just looking at, I think here's a really bad one. See how this. These, these are the new hammers and these are the old hammers. So the first thing I need to do, and here you can see as I move the hammer from the bottom to the hot top, they get closer together. These two here, these two here. So that tells me that the, the, the hammer is actually traveling on a different plane and the way that that is adjusted is by shimming the uh, flange with the traveling paper. And I will go through and I will show you that. And I'll pick a really egregious one to 
demonstrate. Yeah, let's let's do this one here. So I will. It's traveling to the travel side, which means I have to add a piece of a traveling paper to the travel side of the uh, flange. So, let's hold it there for a second. That'll stick on there. So there it is. Put it back. Traveling paper comes in different thicknesses. I use the uh, thickest one that I have. See, that's already improved things dramatically. It's 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 uh, the hammer is much more vertical, and it's moving. See, now you can see this one here. So I'll do the same one, same thing here. better, much more vertical, and our uh, travel has been corrected. And these two here are both moving as well, but to a lesser extent, so I'm just going to add a thin piece of traveling paper to both of those. we do traveling first is because it affects the, uh, the uh, tilt of the uh, hammer. You can see this one I have uh, I've traveled it and it's corrected the tilt a little bit but not enough so I will have to uh, heat that shank but see I've corrected the uh, travel. This one I'll do the same thing. Some slight travel and then I'll show you the uh, burning procedure in a second here. So this is a little bit time consuming. I'll probably spend a couple hours total doing all of the hammers, uh, both via traveling and via tilting. And it'll take me about, uh, oh, I think it took me about 20 minutes to, uh, to get all the, these hammers on here. It'll take me another 20 minutes to get, uh, once I get all the traveling and uh, burning done to get the, uh, the, uh, every other hammer replaced uh, with, with the new hammers. That'll take another 20 minutes. So probably I have about three hours total in uh, getting the hammers on and uh, aligned, just to give you a rough idea. But yeah, see these two, I can see they're still slightly tilted. The travel is, is, is good now. Well, not quite. This one is still, I could put another piece on there.
I'm pretty happy with how those are traveling. Now I want to try and get those centered between the old hammers. So I'm just looking here, just eyeing things. I will be doing this in the piano, of course. Uh, this is just, this is rough work, but it gets things very, very close. So, and now I'm going to, yeah, you can see this one is still way, it's traveling correctly, it's traveling straight up and down, but it's, the hammer itself is tilted relative to the old hammers. So what I'll do, I'll use my heat gun here. I'll just show you here. I've got uh, an attachment on here. I believe this is a, a, a shrink tube, heat tube, uh, heating attachment, I believe they call it. And just on a heating gun here. And what I will do is I will heat the shank about 10 seconds and then after it's heated up I will just put slight pressure on here I'm tilting the hammer oh and now we actually <laughs> so I went the wrong way on that uh, wasn't paying attention so anyways uh, a little bit more Light bit more. Here, this one too. Doesn't hurt to go ever so slightly beyond where you want it. It'll, it may settle back just a little bit. I may have to do this a few times. That's nice. A little bit. bit all right and that's that's a very good start the way I will actually go through and fine-tune that eventually is I will go through the uh, individual hammers and watch them as they Pressing with my finger here underneath, just, just lifting the hammer and watching all the spaces and making sure that it's traveling straight up and down, that it starts and ends in the right in the uh, in a position that I like. This one here we can move it over just a little bit, but uh, and it's a refinement process. I mean this but uh, for demonstration purposes, that is what I wanted to show you.